I am Pei, Blending Past and Future, by Elizabeth Hudson. Chapter 1, Growing Up in Two Cities. In 1917, a boy named Yeo Ming Pei was born in Guangzhou, China. His family moved a lot. When he was young, they moved to Hong Kong. When he was nine, they moved to Shanghai. Hong Kong and Shanghai were both large, modern cities. People from all around the world lived in them. They were filled with tall, fancy buildings. Pei was fascinated by these buildings. They were built in many different styles. Close read. Make connections. Highlight details that tell what Hong Kong and Shanghai are like. Modern. In a style that is new and different. Shanghai, China in the 1930s. Pei went to a school in Shanghai where he was taught in both English and Chinese. On school breaks, he visited Suzhou, China. His ancestors had lived in Suzhou for more than 500 years. Close read. Make connections. Highlight details that tell how Suzhou is different from Shanghai. Suzhou was different from Shanghai. It was quieter. The buildings were smaller. They were built in the traditional Chinese style. Pei learned about ancient Chinese traditions from his grandfather. He learned that the connection between nature and people is important. Close read. Ancient. Very old. Traditional Chinese Buildings Traditional Chinese gardens blend nature with objects made by people. Shizilin, a garden Pei's family had owned, is an example. Shizilin means Lion Grove Garden. Pei discovered waterfalls and rocks that looked like dancing lions. At Shizilin, Pei's imagination ran wild. In Suzhou, Pei saw the past. In Shanghai, he saw the future. When he was 16, Pei watched a hotel being built. It had more than 20 stories. It would be the tallest building in Shanghai at that time. Pei was inspired. He decided that he wanted to become an architect. Pei drew a picture of the new hotel. His family thought it was very good. They sent Pei to America to become an architect. Close read. Make connections. Highlight the words that help you understand why Pei decides to become an architect. Architect. A person who designs buildings. Shizilin. Lion Grove Garden. Chapter 2. Becoming an Architect. In America, Pei learned how to turn an idea for a building into a real building. He practiced drawing buildings. Architects have to be good artists. They also have to be good at math. They decide how big the building will be and what it will look like. Pei wasn't completely happy at the first two colleges he went to. The teachers taught in a fancy, older style. Pei wanted to design modern buildings. He liked simple shapes and smooth lines. Close read. Use text features. Underline the heading that tells what this chapter is about. Pei learned how to make very detailed drawings of buildings in college. Pei went to a third college, Harvard University. There, Pei learned from famous architects. Their designs were new and modern. These were the kinds of buildings Pei wanted to design. Close read. Use text features. Underline the words that tell what the picture shows. Pei designed many buildings in cities, like the Cleo Rogers Memorial Library in Columbus, Indiana. Chapter 3. Beginning a Career Pei got his first job. He got to design modern buildings in big cities. He created apartment buildings and office buildings. He built shopping malls and hotels. I.M. Pei with one of his designs in New York City, 1968. 
Pei's first project outside of a city was the Mesa Laboratory in Colorado, USA. Pei was inspired by ancient cliff dwellings made hundreds of years ago by Pueblo people in Mesa Verde. These were homes that had been carved into the sides of cliffs. Pei combined this idea with the modern style he loved. Ancient Pueblo Cliff Dwellings in Mesa Verde, Colorado He designed the Mesa Laboratory to be made up of squares, towers, arches, and long lines. The red stone building sits on a hilltop. It looks like it was carved out of the Colorado mountains. Close read. Make connections. Look at the photographs of the Pueblo Cliff Dwellings and the Mesa Laboratory. How are they alike? Arches. Curved structures that often form the tops of doors, windows, and gateways. The Mesa Laboratory in Boulder, Colorado. Chapter 4. Designing Museums. Pei designed many museums. He believed that a museum should not just be a building that holds art. It should be a work of art itself. He designed a new entrance to the Louvre in Paris, France. The Louvre is the largest art museum in the world. It has everything from ancient Egyptian mummies to modern paintings. Close read. Vocabulary in context. Sometimes you can figure out the meaning of an unfamiliar word by looking at words around it. Underline the words that help you understand the meaning of museum. After the Louvre, I thought no project would be too difficult. I am Pei. Pei's modern glass and steel pyramid is shaped like the pyramids of ancient Egypt. Pei's creation blends the ancient with the modern, too. A glass pyramid rises from the ground. It is shaped like the pyramids of ancient Egypt. It is modern because it is made from glass and steel. Some people thought the modern pyramid didn't fit with the old museum. They said Pei ruined the museum. He felt very hurt. But over time, people grew to love the pyramid. Today, it is a very important part of Paris. Close read. Underline Pei's words in the sidebar. How do his words help you to understand how he felt about the Louvre project? Creation. Something that is made or produced. Pei was asked to design another museum, this time in Suzhou, China. The museum had to be designed in the traditional Suzhou style. It also had to be modern. Pei knew what to do. He built a museum with modern shapes. It is made up of squares, triangles, and rectangles. Pei also used his childhood memories of Shizilin. He gave the museum a traditional Chinese garden, pond, and footbridge. The ancient and modern sit side by side at the museum. Close read. Use text features. Underline at least three examples of things in the text that the picture shows. Suzhou Museum Chapter 5 Becoming Famous Pei became famous. He was asked to build the Bank of China Tower in Hong Kong. At the time it was built, the tower was the tallest building in Asia. Pei won many awards. He received prize money. He used some of this money to help Chinese students become architects. Close read. Vocabulary in context. Underline the words in the sentence that help you figure out the meaning of tower. I am Pei received the Edward McDowell Medal in 1998. Bank of China Tower, Hong Kong. Chapter 6. Remembering I am Pei. Pei lived in America for the rest of his life. He had many children and grandchildren. He lived to be 102 years old. Two of Pei's children are architects like their father. They are inspired by their father's designs. They add their own ideas to their buildings, too. Close read. Fluency. 
Practice reading fluently. Read aloud paragraphs 29 to 30 several times with a partner. Read at the rate you talk and group words as you read with expression. I M Pei is remembered for his buildings that blend old and new styles. They remind us of what came before. They invite us to dream of the bright future that awaits. Close read. Make connections. Highlight the words that help you understand why Pei's buildings are important to people today. I M Pei rides a ferry with his granddaughter on his way to receive the Ellis Island Family Heritage Award. You only have to cast your eyes on buildings to feel the presence of the past, the spirit of a place. I am Pei.